What's up, Wesico? I am Mayor Adrian Gonzalez alongside. And I am Josh Pedraza, Commissioner for District 1 of the great city of Wesico. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed our first podcast, and now we're back at it again. So today, we're going to dis- discuss a little bit how city government works. Yes. Uh, it takes a team of elected officials, city departments, and of course, our residents that make Wessico the place to be and the place where people want to live. Yes, yes, uh, you are right. Uh, and it takes everyone, you know, uh, clicking on all cylinders Mm-hmm. To make to ensure that it runs smoothly. Now, that's not to say that we're not going to run into hiccups. You know, no one's oh, perfect, always but do. we do try our best to to make the quality of life as smooth as possible for everyone that yeah. either visits or is living here in Wesco. Yeah, you know, and uh, so today, what we really want to do today is kind of let people know, our citizens know who is the body of the city of Wesico. And that's our directors, you know, and their responsibilities kind of go a little bit into what they do and what their duties are. And um, and, like I said, inform our citizens of who they can call when they run into some issues. Yeah, just just in the event that you're not familiar with uh, who they are or what they do or you know, you have a certain concern uh, in regards to parks or streets or trash or brush. And, you know, hopefully this will help you with those questions and maybe you'll find the answers here and if not you know exactly where to look yeah and we're gonna start off with a <coughs> with the main with the main guy uh our city manager mr martin garza yes mr garza and i guess to kind of uh, just to give you an idea of kind of what he does think of it kind of like a, a a school district you know you have a superintendent the city has a city manager yes which in essence, plays the same role. Yeah, he kind of puts everything that we go out there and do in, in, uh, in our sitting meetings and what we approve, and he puts it all together for us, and he yeah. executes, and you yes, know? Yes, yes, and he uh, has daily conversations with uh, the, the directors of each department, and, you know, he's always up to speed as to what's going on, uh, what needs to get done, yeah. if we're having issues here or there. Uh, that is uh, the man to go to uh, with, really, his phone. Question. His phone is yeah. on 24-7. I'll yeah, tell you that much. It is. It is. <laughs> I, know, I know sometimes I'm getting the, the the city manager's report like at 2 in the morning. Yeah. And on my phone goes off yeah. and I look and I'm like, he just said, he I'm like, wow, still working. He, yeah, he's the man. Still, yeah. He's the man that has to keep it all together for us. And yeah. he has to, you know, make sure that all our departments are, are, uh, Working and and like you said in all cylinders, you know, hitting in all cylinders, you know, and now and then we have our our police chief, Chief Joel Rivera. Yes, Chief Joel Rivera has been with us for some time now. I I would say going on six years, uh, doing a phenomenal job, and that department is just you know flourishing, um, and he's he's the man who 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 has that department going in the right direction yeah our pd they protect and serve and they protect and serve all our citizens and i have to say that our police department is awesome you know our guys really bust their rears I to make sure to they prote- they protect and serve us and mm-hmm. they're out there and you know it's like uh like they say you know um police and fire you know when when they leave that door when they leave their homes you yes. know they they're with that of you know, you don't know if you're going to come back home, you know. So they lay their li- they lay their lives on the line for all the city of Wessico. So Yes, that, that's, that's the reality. And, but they know this. They know this, and they embrace it, you know, for our citizens. And that, that speaks volumes for them. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I, Chief, uh, I always sometimes, Chief uh, Rivera, I don't know whether to call him Chief Rivera, Dr. Dr. Rivera, <laughs> because he is. He, he's got his doctorate also. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, but... He's fine with Chief, and he's just a plethora of knowledge. You know, and and then we go down to our fire department and our fire chief, Antonio Lopez. You know, he does a tremendous job with our with our fire department and and all our firefighters out there, uh, fire and EMS. Fire you and know, EMS, and then yes. and those guys are out there and responding to all our calls. And and I'll tell you one thing. You know, they are. You know the the men that that uh, their response time to our 911 calls is outstanding, and it, it, and it's great. You know the service they provide to our constituents is amazing. 
you yes, know, sir. and I got to say that we have the, be the best police and fire department in the valley. And I, I would have to agree now. You know, you might say we're a little biased, but that's okay. They, they are phenomenal individuals. And I, I will say this, uh, the times that presidents have come to yeah, visit the Valley. Yeah, they call on us. They, who, who's DMS and who, who they ask for? They, they call for Westico. Westico. Yeah, West Westico. The fire and EMS. So that speaks volumes for them as well. So. Of course, man. And we want to thank our both chiefs and their guys and females, you know, that for everything that they do for the city of Westico. Most definitely. So now we move on to our planning and code enforcement. Rebecca de la Fuente and Joe Pedraza, who also take care of the Westico Animal Care Services. And them two are doing a tremendous job as well. Oh, yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you any any anymore. Uh, I mean, pulling dual roles without any hesitation and making them run smooth. They're doing a phenomenal job, but yes. Well, our planning and code enforcement commissioner, what they do is basically go out there. They're in charge of our health department. You know, we're going out there and checking um, on restaurants and, and and also, you know, they're in charge. They're abiding by all the ordinances. Yeah, all the ordinances. No violations, things of that nature. And the growth, right, right. the growth, the the building permits yes. and, and uh, subdivisions that are coming up. Right. So they got a lot on the table and they got a group of guys out there that are doing their job and making sure that all that yes. is met. Yes, yes. Uh, and they also, they do an awesome job. Yes, yes. And then we got our parks, you know, Omar Rodriguez, you know, with our parks. Mr. Rodriguez, yes, came to us from uh, McAllen, uh, doing great, you know, our... It, those of you that have seen our Gilbert, Judge Gilbert Garza Park, it's a beautiful, beautiful park. We're looking to do some uh, some work here at our, our, our city park, which is uh, Palo Pena. And it, it, we just continue to, you know, um, build these parks and get them to where, you know, we envision them. And he is that individual. You know, and I, just, just to say a little bit about parks, you know, we are putting a lot of work and, and, uh, and time in our parks. And there's a lot of you know, stuff that we're going to bring down and rebuild and, and, uh, again, give us some time and you're going to see the improvement in our parks. So, and then we have our finance, our finance director, Miss Rosie Perez. I always joke around with her and I tell her, man, I'm going to give you so many white hairs you with everything that I ask and all that. But you know, she does her and her staff do a tremendous job. Yeah. I mean, you have to be on point when it comes to the finances. These are, you know, we have to be fisc fiscally responsible and this is something that our constituents, our citizens, you know, expect from us. So we, we can't stray from that. And she is just a brilliant individual when it comes to numbers. And uh, I mean, she does an awesome job. Yeah. Her and her staff do a yes, tremendous job. Tremendous Rosie, job. I'm sorry, you know, about all the white hairs I may give you, but it's just a start. To me too. <laughs> we'll move on to our engineering department, Mr. Albert Aldana, you know, and everything that he does, you know, making sure that all these, uh, again, with subdivisions and, and codes and stuff that are met. And, you know, we have a lot of RDFs, you know, and he's in charge yeah, we of do. putting all that together. So Yes, uh, I, I can, you know, Albert is an individual who's inundated with a lot of work, but again, He's always up for the challenge, and he takes it head on, and and, and just you know we're we're blessed to have him. Yeah, and then we go into our public works, uh, Dave, Mr. David Arce, who you know we give him a lot of calls, you know, because that's a lot where a lot of the citizens, you know, are their concerns, you yes. know. Whether it's streets, whether it's trash pickup, whether it's brush, uh, it could be a light that's out. It, it, I mean, there's so many things. Uh, public works is is just a. Uh, they do so much, uh, and you know, without them, they are truly, truly the backbone uh, yeah. and what keeps the city going. The ones that are out there in, in the heat, like today, uh, what was it? Heat index was like 111, 130. It was hot. It was hot. They're out there. They're out there to ensure that the quality of life is superb for our citizens. You know, and I've said, I've said before, and I said in the state of the city, they're the heart of Wesico. You know, they're the ones that they're the reason why these restaurants and everybody's here because they make sure that everything is met and we're, they're, we're able to sustain that growth with all their hard work, with our streets, with our our, our, our lines, our water and sewer lines. That You know, so thank you to all those guys out and, there. And, and who's going to address a water break at 2 a.m.? No, them. They will. Them, them. They will. So now we got our library, Arnold 
Betcho, Mr. Betcho. Yeah, you Mr. Betcho. Uh, you know, uh, he, if there's anyone who loves their library, it's Mr. Betcho. He's just one of those individuals who, you know, is does everything he can to make sure that that library is the best. And, yeah. you know, uh, he's been very involved. He's been very hands-on. He's with his library board and the engineers uh, who are here you know, within the next six months, are, are going to. Uh, well, we got a new with, library yeah, coming, so exactly, and he and he's played a big part, big part, yeah, in in, in it coming to fruition. So yeah, you know, again, uh, you know, he does a tremendous job, and and we're looking forward to this new library. Not only will it be a library, but it's going to serve as you know, kind of a a multi-purpose yes. building, you know, where people that have small businesses can go and meet, meet yeah, you know, yeah, and uh, and we can utilize our li library for so much more. Correct. You know, correct. than just the regular library. It's exciting. It's very exciting. Yes, it's yes. Very exciting. And we have our human resource, uh, resources director, Luz Galindo. Um, you know, I her job is, but she does the hiring, you know, and she does all the legwork, you know, for the city she of She does, Mexico. and she also deals with individuals who may not be happy or yeah, what have you. So yeah. she's got to wear many hats, but she always has to wear a smile. Yeah. You know, so I applaud her for that because it's not an easy job. But Miss Luz, she gets it done. Yeah, gets you know, and, and her and her staff. Thank you guys. You know for everything that you do. We'll move on to our court co uh, coordinator, Miss yeah, Municipal Court. Yeah, yeah, Ro Rosa Barrio. Barrio. Yes, Miss Barrio has been there, oh, many years, and she does phenomenal as well. She get, kept keeps that court running, you know, operating smoothly, and you know we've evolved so much as a city and because of her guidance and you know we've gotten new tools that makes the whole process whether people want to pay for a ticket or you know when it comes to court or what have you the process is smooth and you kind of mm -hmm. we're trying to make it where it's kind of like an in and out type of thing and but She's played. Oh, she does a great job. She does a great job with the courts, and she works very well with our judges and, and makes sure that our citizens that go there feel comfortable, you know, being that it's they're going there for not maybe a good thing, you know, but at least she makes them feel welcomed and does right. a great job with what she does. Yeah, so you thank treat you. Them like people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You treat them like people. Exactly. And we'll move on to our, the, our, our last individual who. I kind of a little biased about because I deal strictly with her a lot as our city secretary, Miss Norma oh, Cantu. Norma, yes. You know, uh, Norma is does so much for the city of Wessico. She's in charge of our records and vitals, I believe. You know, and birth certificates, and you yes. know, make sure she, that that our agendas are uh, are set for our meetings. She says she keeps minutes. She, uh, you know takes down who who makes a motion and you know all, all that um and make sure that it's uh up on our website and make sure that yeah. it's available to our to our citizens yeah you know, so you know a lot of a lot of the people are, or her employees are the ones that you know they're the first ones that the people go and see most you know? definitely well, and uh so you walk into city hall yeah, you know, that that's who you know she runs uh, the, that front part of 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 you know so uh, the city of West Coast. Yeah, she, she does a lot. And, and for me, she helps me out by reading the agenda items, which is good. You know, so she does a lot for for the city. And again, she keeps us organized. She keeps us organized and makes sure that um, that we're transparent, you know, and uh, that she keeps all our records in file. And again, like you said, commissioner, the minutes and and who makes the motions. And, you know, we can't say much. You know, we can't say we can't say so much about her, you know, because we'll be here, you know, all, all night, right, all evening. you know, what she does. But thank you, Norma, and your staff for everything that you do. And again, I know it took a little longer than usual, or let me say, it took longer than our than we wanted, than we wanted yes, to. But yeah. I think it's important that our employees. Um, that we that we brag about our employees. No, most definitely. Who I mean, when you're surrounded by such a great team, I mean, I. Yeah, you want to brag about them. Yes, yeah. yes. Again, citizens of Westwood thank you for tuning in and be on the lookout for our next podcast. We really enjoy educating or informing you guys on what's going on in Westwood and we continue to be transparent and make sure that you guys know what's going on in Westwood. Thank you very much. God bless you. And Westwood is the best. I would have to agree. God bless everyone.